Hey, Max here. I thought you might enjoy this. Uh, this is a picture of me <laughs> when I was a kid, and my sister decided to cut my hair. Uh, I was going through some of my old stuff from my retro room in packing stuff to ship to s that I've sold on eBay, and I thought you might enjoy this, and I'll, I'll show you some more gems that I found from my childhood. Okay, instead of um, making videos, I packaged these up. These are ready to go. I have one more package tomorrow that sold um, over $200. I just have to wait for them to pay for me for one of my uh, Super NES carts. And then a, a friend has some interest in some of my other ones that I'm selling. So I'm making a lot of progress. Okay, let's see what I found in my basement in storage. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to put this in my room, though. This is my Elmo that I got when I was young. It's still in decent condition. Um, I don't know why. I don't even remember getting this. Jar Jar Banks 18-month collectible calendar. From 1999. It's a mini calendar. Kind of interesting. I don't know why I put this in there, Blue Man. That, I don't think that needs to be in there. Oh, I got a ticket stub for Blue Man Group, too. Heck yeah, I'm a loser, baby. Beck Patch. <laughs> um, Kermit the Frog as a pirate. Uh, here's some Pez dispensers, Kermit, this one's pretty, uh, you know, the Stormtrooper looks pretty old, the other ones look better, a rubber band ball that I made way back in the day, in the 90s, <laughs> um, let's see what else is in here. Oh, this is from my DVD that I no longer have, Revenge of the Sith, because I bought it on Blu-ray, Collectible Coin. I have a bunch of these Batman Returns cards. They're not in good condition or anything, but I have a bunch of those. See how many I have? I don't know. I don't even remember... I must have got... My dad must have got me packs of this. Oh, that's that's the one I like. So these could all... Depending on what I do, I can put these all in my retro room. I might need to get like a... Um, a card holder for collector cards. This Etch-A-Sketch... My childhood Etch-A-Sketch... I could probably clean the front screen. Uh, I thought it was broken, but it actually does work. It's just very faint. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show it. So I have my Etch-A-Sketch. Uh, this is interesting. This is... My first Donald Duck t-shirt when I was a kid. Isn't that cool? Walt Disney World. Now... I was poor, so I didn't actually go to Walt Disney World. I probably, my mother probably got this at Goodwill. Let me see. So I didn't go, I didn't go to Disney until I graduated high school. We couldn't afford it. Oh, I found one micro machine. <laughs> and... This is kind of interesting. A Kool-Aid pitcher with cups. What am I going to do with all this? I don't know. But uh, maybe it'll be good for an intro. Maybe I'll make some Kool-Aid. You know, sit behind my tube TV and do a really cool intro uh, for the retro show. And, you know, when I watch a VHS... 
on my tube TV or play a game, I might drink Kool-Aid. I might drink the Kool-Aid. <laughs> uh, that's all I got because I've been busy. I'll be back tomorrow. I do have to ship these right after work. I hope you all had a great night, great day. Uh, let me know what you think of all this stuff. I do have a few other things from my childhood. Oh, wait a second. Yes, my hacky sack. And I think there's one other thing in here I forgot because I remembered the hacky sack. Oh. My uh, Kenny. Isn't it Kenny? Ooh, don't, don't hurt me. South. I used to really be in South Park. And I used to be like uh, grunge and alternative in the 90s. So I played hacky sack, watched South Park. Really like the Doors and classic rock and grunge and so that's a few other things. But that yeah, I I used the khaki sack all the time. I used to be pretty good. All right, bye everyone. <laughs>